I'm Nina Barbudo, the founder and director of Assemble. Assemble means to come together. It also means to put something together. And so this is a space for social learning and social making. We invite artists, makers, and technologists to come and share their expertise through different types of events. We invite our neighbors of all demographics to come and learn through their experiences while opening up creative processes to build confidence through making. We do this through many different types of programs, some of them being our learning parties. And learning parties are explosions of learning where one could come and meet different scientists, artists, crafters. They're kind of like a science fair where you've got the experts presenting back to the general public. We also have our Saturday for afternoon. We've been working with different community partners in Garfield to help make things with our local artists and technologists. We also have our Make It program. Middle school students come and make things. They go from making things with hard materials and making things with soft materials to then making it smart. There's also M3, <laughs> which is Materials, Media, and Me, and we feature different artists, makers, and technologists, again, but instead of saying, this week you're going to learn how to paint, it's this week you're working with paint. So focusing on the material that you can then tell your message or turn that into a form of media, and how do you do that? And that's where the me comes in, is when the kids happen. We welcome other programs to come in and to happen in this space. We encourage people to utilize our space, especially those of our community, and it is our goal to showcase what's being made, to incubate those ideas, and to help educate others. We are a informal learning environment. Not only is this space an experimental space for the kids, but it's also an experimental space for the big kids and people who are interested in the ways that we learn. I come from an architecture background and thinking about the space of classrooms and how that interacts with teaching methodology. It started as a Google document and with the help of friends who turned into board members and our landlord, Benjamin Sachs, who bought this building and a lot of serendipity, it Happened. We're continuing to grow. The community is not just, you know, what we think it should be, it's what the people who live here think it should be. We focus on low barriers to entry for contemporary knowledge and contemporary ways of making things. So we want to make information accessible and attainable for all. So not just you know, babies of Googlers, not just kids who have no resources either, but also the grown-ups that are involved because we really believe in lifelong learning and learning through every experience. Everything's an opportunity. Pittsburgh's great because even though it has a small town feel and big city cultural values, it's great because it is less competitive versus collaborative. We're all working on making this place better because we know that we can, but at the same time, like, no one's stepping on each other's toes. And it's a really great space and place for camaraderie.